Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I love beautiful people. <clears throat> okay, this message is going to be what spirit wants you to know. What messages spirit has for you, okay? <clears throat> and whatever comes out for Pisces, okay? You guys, don't forget to click that like button and the subscribe, okay? So you guys can get content whenever I put it out, okay? We got succulents, resilience, okay? <clears throat> we got endings, okay? <clears throat> and what else? And journey, okay? I can already see. Look, you guys are seeing angel numbers. You guys are getting confirmation from spirit, okay? I see you guys going on a journey, okay, Pisces? Just from these cards alone i can tell that you guys are going through a journey and you're having an ending to a situation but guess what you're going to be resilient and it's gonna you're going to be resilient and come out on top whatever it is whatever this journey that you're on and that you're going through you're going to be resilient and guess what it's confirmation you've been seeing angel numbers you've been getting confirmation you've been getting receipts and you have just been you know what you need to do you know about whatever the situation is so let's see. Let's look into this journey. <clears throat> okay. It says you are on your own path. Okay. And the labyrinth represents a simple fact that this journey will take you on many different directions. Unlike a maze, a labyrinth, there's no dead ends. Okay. Or wrong ways. You will not always understand the route you're on, but you can either choose to be confused and scared or to see it as an opportunity to learn lessons and discover your strengths this sign encourages you to embrace where you are on your journey and resist comparing yourself to anyone else listen to your intuition and use that as a guide to face any challenges okay keep moving forward the gift of a journey is not the destination itself it's the experience and the lessons learned along the way that have shaped you into the person you are today okay right now you're in a pivotal moment in your spiritual journey okay possibly a sad in return Major life changes in career and or relationships. Embrace self-discovery, okay? And while we're here, we're just going to go ahead and do angel numbers. This is repeating numbers are among the most recognizable symbols of the universe that are speaking directly to us. Once you start to notice an angel number, it becomes difficult to ignore, okay? Whether it be a building number, 111, or a repeat or a receipt for $3.33 from a gas station. Each pattern of numbers has its own individual message. Okay? There's no need to worry. Continue forth on your path and you are a um, light worker. Trust your instincts. Okay? <clears throat> now let's go on to this ending. <clears throat> okay. The skull appears when endings are at hand. It's a powerful symbol of mortality. But this card also symbolizes the circle of life. Both endings and those endings bring new beginnings. You could be experiencing the end of a relationship, a job, or a phase in your life. It's imperative that you give yourself space and time to grieve this ending. Allow time and space to accept it and process your emotions, okay? Also, you can be mourning and grieving, okay? Um, difficulties are ending. And this also means that difficulties are ending as well, okay? And this also talks about accepting things that you cannot change, okay? We all go through endings in life, but guess what? An ending is always a new beginning. That's the good thing. Okay? Resilience, okay? Let's see. It says, take advantage of your own inner reserves of mental and physical resilience in challenging times to remain calm and collected in the face of a crisis and confusion. When you tap into this reserve, you're gaining valuable skills and lessons and important lessons about your limits. This is also the energy of longevity and wanting something to last long. Set your intentions for a career, a relationship, or situation you'd like to see in the long run. Keep striving for what has been placed on your heart. Stay healthy by watering yourself with love and care. Okay? This also talks about good fortune is coming to you. Current endeavors will be long-lasting, okay? So it's like good things are happening to you, Pisces. I love it. I love it. Let's see what else, Pisces. 
Give us a message for Pisces. Pisces, be strong, Pisces, okay? Be strong. Don't let anything get you down, Pisces, okay? Be careful, though, for these jealous people around you, okay? These people that are not happy, that don't want to see you in, be careful and watch out for those people, okay? There's a divine masculine around you guys, okay? Um, this divine masculine could be the jealous person or it could just mean, you know, look, boundaries. You guys got boundaries, divine masculine. You might need to um, set boundaries with this divine masculine. And look, thing, look. Things unknown are gonna come to are gonna come to the forefront. Okay, things that are being hidden are gonna come to the forefront. So you guys are gonna be seeing things. And look, we got the snake and this protection. Look, and then look what else we got: knowledge and emotions. And look, we got a divine feminine. So this could be you guys could be in a situation that involves a man and a woman. You know, a man and a woman. You know, I, I can't say if it has to do with love or or not, you know, but just saying that keep up boundaries, healthy boundaries, um, keep healthy boundaries whenever you find this information and just keep the boundaries away from people. You know what I mean? Because that jealousy, people, there's going to be jealous people around you and not and not happy for you. So get you guys an evil eye. If you don't have an evil eye, contact me. We sell evil eyes, um, jewelry, necklaces. Look, I got um, evil eye ring. I keep that on me all day long. Necklaces, rings, you name it, we got it. And I got you. And I also do shipping as well, too. So if you guys need the evil eye ring, I uh, can show you what I have in my collection. Look, the higher front, okay? It talks about choosing to do the right thing, spiritual wisdom, okay? Doing things the traditional way, making good choices, getting good advice from people. And the Ace of Cups, love, new love, emotional awakening, self-love. I'm seeing you guys like, you know, it could be a new relationship, new love. And look, being resilient, okay? Inner strength, being persistent. Look, resilience again. You guys are going to be resilient and you guys are going to be okay. Look at this. Endings. Again, the death card talks about endings. There's going to be endings, but guess what? Endings bring new beginnings, changes. There's going to be lots of changes in your life, Pisces. Okay? <clears throat> but be careful because what this devil card, <clears throat> this devil card talks about, um, it can talk about falling into temptation, toxic bonds, rebel mentality, and addictions. Why is this here? Okay, you can be getting messages for someone that's not that doesn't have your best interest that possibly, you know, you can have like two, like one person on one end giving you good advice, but then another person giving you like bad advice. Just there might be some changes or decisions that are being made, but I see you becoming like emotionally stable about the situation. And with this high priestess, you already know what you need to do. You have lots of knowledge, and you're really intuitive, okay? And people could be talking about you. People could be watching you, you know what I mean? What, like, wanting to be in your business, admiring you from the far. Just be careful about that. I see a lot of you guys being, like, mentally drained, being tired, needing rest as well, too. Um, just needing, like, a mental break, okay? I see some of you guys, like, also trying to hold on to your coins, like, you know, being very frugal, like, and also, um, being possessive in a way, okay? But just be careful, just be careful, because I don't, let me see, whose energy is this? Whose energy is this King of Wands? Give me Pisces energy as it regards to this. Okay, I see you guys having, like, Effective communication, being focused, getting clarity. I don't think this is your energy. I think this might be someone else's. But be careful because, you know, the Seven of Swords, the sneaky energy, there could be people around you that you can't trust. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, Pisces, okay? 
I will see you guys in the next reading. Love you.